What is up, kids at home? As promised, announced on Twitter, we received nearly a thousand replies. We're going to do a little Q&A today. So here we are Even on the vlog. Uh, Mr. Park is going to help us out. He's going to be our Barbara Walters for the afternoon. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be, uh, who cried on Barbara Walters? Everybody. Everybody, I mean, everybody. did. You, did so. you didn't really have a spot on Barbara unless you cried. Correct. She made so, you cry. Oprah does the same thing, though. Maybe I, too, will cry today on this episode. <laughs> Of sincerely me. All right, here we go. We yeah. got we got a bunch of questions. We do. Um, Michael's going to ask me, and I'm going to answer them. First one from Gabby. Okay. If you had to pick between never being in DEH again or never bullying again, what would you choose? Um, you know, I hope it doesn't come too quickly, <laughs> but uh, I, I'd probably have to take bowling. It's yeah. uh, you know, it's a different. Jeremy Hansen is wonderful. It's actually my lifelong dream realized. But okay. uh, same thing every night. Bowling, never know what's going to happen. Second question. Yes. From uh, Adri. Adri, Adri. 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 What does Mike Feist's hair smell like? Oh, have you ever, um, you know when you get a stick of butter mm -hmm. out of the fridge yeah. and you feel the outside of the paper? Yeah. And it's not really buttery, but right. a little bit of the inside has yeah. gotten on the outside. Right. If you run your fingers over Mike Feist's head, that's kind of what it, it feels like. I, I kind of like it to, I liken it to uh, silk and dreams. Okay. And butter. And butter. <laughs> and butter. <laughs> Uh, this is from Allie. Allie, if you could swap roles with anyone in the cast, who would it be? Uh, it would be Michael Park, um, <laughs> because I uh, my hands get very dry, and when you do that thing with the shaving cream, that yeah. would be a nice mid-show yeah, refresher be, for yeah, me, yeah, um, cool. and that would leave me feeling uh, tingly and alive. Yeah. <laughs> so this okay. guy. This is from Sem. What say, say this name? It looks like Semiturney. Semiturney. You know, I'm just going with, with Twitter sorry. names here. So who Semiturney. Her, you know, his or her name might be Josh. Do you like Dodie Clark? I don't know who that is. So uh, fill me in. Tweet tweet at me some uh, some Dodie Clark info, and I will learn about him or her. Well, that's good to know. Kel asks, do you know how to dab? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's my phone. I dropped it. Oh. <sighs> wow. Caroline asks, what would you, what would Jared mm -hmm. be for Halloween? Uh, Jared would really want to be like a pun costume. So he might be, he might wear like a shirt that says ceiling and have like pom-poms and be like, I'm uh, a ceiling fan. Oh, um, it's great. Yeah. Or he might be, uh, yeah, I don't know. It would be like really I thought for great. sure he'd be one of the kids from Stranger Things. No, that's what Will Rowland did last Halloween. Oh, is that right? But everybody thought I was Marty McFly, but I was Will Byers. It's the <laughs> oh, same costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the True. Same. So maybe I'll be Marty McFly this year, and I don't need to buy a new costume. <laughs> Allie asks... Yes, Allie. If you could cast any celebrity to replace you as Jared, who would that be? Uh, maybe Aubrey Plaza. Maybe Beanie Feldstein. Beanie Feldstein yeah, would be great. She'd be Jared. very, very good. I'm only casting girls because I feel threatened by men. <laughs> um, and uh, maybe uh, Lupita would be really good. Lupita would Lupita be Lupita good. Would be, she's funnier yeah. than people realize. Yeah, she's great. Um, and uh, and uh, maybe, uh, oh, oh, what's his face? Uh, Ian. Ian Armitage. Ian loves right. theater. Ian right. Sheldon. Right. Be we very have good. to get all new costumes. They'd never go for that. I'm skinny. Brenna asks, <clears throat> mm -hmm. are Jared's glasses your prescription? They are. Proof. I can see you. I can still see you. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. The Teenage Witch mm -hmm. asks, what would Jared's favorite TV show be? Uh, Jared loves Big Bang Theory, mm. um, and Jared absolutely loves uh, The Good Wife, and it's spin off really? The Good Fight. He's, oh, he's good, obsessed. Good, yeah. He would never tell anyone, but he watches it nonstop. Did you know that I was on an episode of The Good Wife? I I've never seen it in my life. I'm getting residuals for like 42 cents now. Thank That's you, great. The Good Wife. Yeah. Jillian asks... Mm -hmm. How do you get to into... I got, it, I got it. How do you, I'm scroll. I, mean, I was going to do that. Of course I Sorry. was. If you were to get... Control. I'm very controlling. Control. It's my vlog. <laughs> Katie. Oh, no. Who is it? Jillian. Jillian asks, Sorry. 
How do you get into theater and why? Any tips for aspiring actors? Um, you know, for me, it was all about school. I know for you, it was all about community theater. Community theater, theater sure. Um, you know, find a community, whether that is a school community, other community, professional community that accepts you, go for it. Uh, if you think you like it, uh, work really, really hard mm -hmm. and be nice to everyone. I always say do what you love. If you want to do theater, do what you love. if you want to act, act. If you want to write, write. You should be writing now. You should be doing all these things now. Taking Prepares notes. Prepares you for the future. Yeah. Yes. Bianca asks, mm -hmm. can Mike teach you any of the Newsies tap dancing? He can try. He's been trying. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. He's got a mind like a skilled trap, though, too, because he he's still knows all of It's all in there. He knows it all. I can't. All of it. I'm, it's yeah, crazy. No. I've tr I'll try, but I'm, I'm just not good enough. <laughs> Katie asks, mm -hmm. if you were to be in another musical with another member of the DEH cast, which show and which cast member would it be? I apologize if you've heard this before, but I'm really pushing hard for this yeah. one. Uh, maybe 10, 20 years from now, we do a revival of... Maybe 20 years from now. Uh, we do a revival of Gypsy, uh, where Ben Platt and I play both Mama Rose and Herbie. Sort of, we alternate True West style, you know, Little Foxes style yeah. Yeah. Uh, on any given evening. Um, and uh, I think we both win Tonys uh, for, I, I would for like those to performances. Also, Beanie Feldstein in one of those. Correct. Yeah, well, right. she's going to be June. <laughs> okay. Mama! Right, 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 right. <laughs> Victoria asks, will you ever come to the UK? Oh, right away, Governor. Another <laughs> fancy accent for you. Pip, pip, cheerio. <laughs> um, yes, really looking forward to that. I uh, want to see some theater. Maybe I'll see Harry Potter while I'm there. Oh, good. You, I can, heard see it's Harry, good. you can see Harry Potter here. I could also see Hamilton while yes, I'm there. It's yes, the same, but it's different. It's the same That's the Maybe fun I'll of it. see Dear Evan Hansen there. Maybe I'll go see Blood Brothers. Truth. I've never seen Blood Brothers. I, I have. It's fantastic. Lil Ben asks, Yes! Why do you refuse to follow me back on Twitter? Oh, I, you know, it's it's a very uh, exclusive club. Uh, you gotta earn that. You gotta earn that follow, boyo. Yeah. yeah. Follow up. Mm -hmm. Under capitalism, what will happen to those who are born without the wealth and opportunities enjoyed by others? Does capitalism make the rich richer and keep the poor poor? You know, I think that any idealized economic system, when perverted by a horrific imbalance of power, mm. can lead to incredible inequality, um, mm. especially among the masses, among the proletariat. Um, you know, I believe that capitalism has great flaws. Um, you know, I, I personally believe that the greatest societies are a healthy blend of capitalist and socialist policies. Um, I think it is up to us to keep checks on power um, and keep inequality low in our society. Um, it's difficult for the teeming masses to do that, but remember that uh, the billionaires should be afraid of the have-nots with the pitchforks. Natalia asks, why are you so beautiful? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I have actually like a pretty mild skincare regimen. Do you? Yeah, it's just, it's just Kiehl's. The, um, I know it's Kiehl's, Kiehl's right? Kiehl's products. You love the Afterward, Kiehl's. but before it's it's Noxema or Neutrogena, whatever it is that comes in a blue comes mm -hmm. in a blue thing, and I like pluck it out, and it's right. like a great face wash. Except for this pimple right here, really keeping me in good shape. Does a bar of soap ever touch your face? Um, no, I use a body wash. No bar of soap. No bar of soap yeah. on my face. No, 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 yeah. no, no way. Good. That's good to know. Yeah. Logan asks, do you have any dream roles? Yeah, I have a lot of dream roles. Yeah. Um, I, I love I love old musicals, so I would love to be, uh, I would love to play, uh, I would love to play Cervantes in Man of La Mancha. Of course. I would love to. I would love to play Sweeney Todd. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but Gosh, maybe, you know what, I can dream. That's secretly mine as um, well. I also would love to play John Adams in 1776. Mm. That one feels very achievable, given enough time to age. Um, and uh, I would love to uh, play the lead uh, in Bat Boy, the, so the titular many. role. <gasps> Wonderful. It's one of the best shows you have ever. So written. many dream roles. <clears throat> you know, I the more that I see good shows, the more I want to be in them. As I'm getting later in age, uh, there are only so many I can do. You could be, you'd be a great Mother Superior the next time they want to do Sound of Music. <laughs> Climb every mountain. <laughs> Not really after nice. what I saw Audra do on The Sound of Music Live. Correct. She was fantastic. Yeah. Paige asks, mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you were Nicolas Cage, would you steal the Declaration of Independence? Of course. I would steal it myself right, right. now if right. I could. Right. What an amazing thing to have. <laughs> so you're a thief pariah for the rest of your life. A small price to pay for a piece of greatness. <laughs> Issa asks, Yes. <clears throat> I hope I'm saying that right. Isa, Isa, I hope it's Isa. 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 What would you be if you weren't an actor? 
Um, I might be a very successful used car salesman. Mm-hmm. Um, I might, uh, I might just like be, I might just use my powers for evil and go like be in finance and make as much money as possible. Well, I gotta like tell hedge you, fund or something. You are so smart, Will. You can oh, do anything if you put your mind to keep it. Keep waxing really? my car, really? Michael. Really? Thank I just you. Love oh. It all. Um, yeah, or maybe, uh, you know, I actually might be like a, like a math teacher. Um, because I really like math and I really like to teach. No, but you would judge those kids. You would judge. No, no, no. I would, w- no, no, I would want to teach like, Postdoctorate level oh, okay. <laughs> theoretical mathematics. <laughs> all right, buddy. No, no, no. I want to go like all the way. Yeah. Whatever I'm doing, I want to go to the. You top. wouldn't want to teach kids to love math. See, that's what I. I wanted to start at the ground level and and. and What's see tricky that. for me is that I think uh, I think I, I think you sort of have a natural uh, love and affinity for certain topics, mm-hmm. and so I would want to nurture that as much mm-hmm. as possible. Um, but also, like, I don't th- I don't think you can like go from like hating math to loving math. I think you can discover how great math is because right. maybe you hadn't realized it before. I think that you would come up with, I think you'd want to come up with a new way to do math. And maybe I'd be like, way uh, to do, yeah. Edward James almost stand and deliver, how do I yes. reach these kids kind Abs- of absolutely. situation. Absolutely. All right. All right. Kendall asks. Yes. Oh, I skipped one. Oh. I'll ask Kendall's anyway. Yeah. Kendall asks, what's your favorite go-to karaoke slash backslash, sorry, singing in the sour... Sh- Edit. Kendall asks, what is your favorite go-to carry a cut? Oh God. Take three. <laughs> three take park. <laughs> Kendall asks, what is your go-to karaoke backslash singing in the shower song? Um, you know, they're different. Karaoke, it's anything in the oeuvre of Tom Jones. You know, yeah. I love a Delilah. Big fan. Or a What's New Pussycat. Big fan. Oh, Get my out. Goodness. What are you thinking? We're doing it. God. This guy just, just barrels through doors. Jeez. As I was saying, <laughs> what's new, Pussycat? Uh, Delilah. Um, mm-hmm. I also love uh, uh, the Aerosmith classic. Don't want to miss a day. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then in the shower, uh, it's always like, it's always something, it's like always something old timey. Mm-hmm. It's like a Benny Goodman song or like a Glenn Miller, you know, hit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a big standard fan. Too. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. singing a lot of Gershwin in the shower. My favorite <coughs> song in the shower is Good Morning, Kathleen. Because <laughs> she can hear me through the wall. That's beautiful. <clears throat> She's always asleep. <sighs> Keiko asks, mm-hmm. if you could clone anyone in the DEH cast, who would it be? Why would you clone them? And how many clones of them would you create? Um, That's a great question, Kendall. I would clone For Keiko. Mike Sorry. Feist, Keiko, Kiko. Yeah. Whatever it is, Keiko. I would uh, I would clone Mike Feist. Yeah. Um, I would clone him because uh, I think that among all of us, his organs would probably be the most valuable, and I would just churn <laughs> those things out. Yeah, maybe. but as you remake clones, they get less and less. You know what though? What ends up effective. happening is that you're right, but but I want to saturate the market. It's co- it's a theory of yeah. economics of scale. You know, they just get dumber and dumber. Well, <laughs> it's just an organ bucket. Isabel, the world. organ bucket. Isabel asks, not a question actually, but write a haiku real quick. Okay. The leaves fall down quick. Wonderful is the sight there. I walk through the leaves. It's wonderful. You're so... You're wonderful. Mary asks... And this is our last question. Oh, no. This is our last question. It's going to be sad to see this go. Mary asks, what would a musical about your life be called? Uh, First of all, it would have an unwieldy long title. Yes. Um, So it would be called, uh, you know, (laughs) The Fantastical Musings of One Man as He Wanders Through the World, colon, The Will Rowland Story. Yeah. Starring Ben Platt in Will Rowland as Michael Park in The Greatest Story Ever Told. Wonderful. What would the abbreviation for that be? What would be the catch abbreviation? Hashtag. Now and forever. <laughs> Sincerely me. Sincerely me. Sincerely me.